God, I have a zit right there and right there. Just don't look at me. Don't look at me. Good morning, Helena. When I am bored, I tend to do some weird stuff on the internet. I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at myself. This weird stuff includes everything from the average scroll down the Tumblr dashboard to the not so average search for the most WTH items in shopping websites. Today, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite finds from Amazon. And the links to all of the products that I mentioned in this video will be in the doobly do below, so feel free to check them out yourself. Naturally, I am starting off with the canned unicorn meat. I'm not sure what to expect out of this product. The reviews on Amazon aren't exactly helpful. I read some of the reviews. Some of them say that it tastes like spam. Others say that I gave them rainbow poop. One of the pictures that I saw just showed a dismembered stuffed unicorn I hit the wall with my elbow. There's also dragon meat and zombie jerky, bacon ketchup. What is this life? I bet you thought I would fall off the chair, but I didn't. Ha. That would have been funny though. That actually would have been really funny. I should have done that. That would have been hilarious. Too late now. Stepping away from the food or the not food or the... Stepping away from the I don't even know what the heck this is items. We come to a really awesome item. Shakespearean insult bandages. I think I am in love with whoever created these. And I will probably end up actually buying the product at some point. My chair is spinning by the way. And now sideways. And Helena, I know that you are a huge fan of Edgar Allan Poe, so I'll leave some links to Edgar Allan Poe bandages as well. And a matching air freshener! What does this even smell like? Probably smells like a dead person. Sounds delicious. <laughs> you see, that was just the most beautiful, flirty laugh ever. And lucky for all the guys out there, I'm single. I have a Swiss Army knife. I actually really like knives. That sounded really creepy, but yeah. This one though, this one is just cray cray. Going back to the band-aids. Bacon slice band-aids. Yet another item that I will likely purchase at some point in time. You can see where I hold my priorities, but at least I will have plenty of band-aids in my first aid kit. Helena, I have a serious problem. Speaking of problems, emergency underpants. But that's none of my business. Or you can have instant underwear. Just add water. And squirrel underpants. I do think that there's something to the emergency bow tie though. I mean, this one's pretty cool. And of course, some people have to take some things literally. Like hand soap. Literally. A hand. Made of soap. And then I discovered the inflatable unicorn horn. I think that this is an amazing product. Possibly one of the best on Amazon. And then I found the inflatable unicorn horn for cats. You would like that, wouldn't you, Ladybird? Yes, you would. Yes, you would. You would like an inflatable unicorn horn. And the product that's not so much ridiculous as it is genius, the Public Restroom Survival Kit. No tear toilet paper. This isn't a funny joke. Crap just got real. If you buy this product and actually use it for the prank that it's intended to be used for, you will likely be the one in charge of unclogging the toilet. In my house though, it wouldn't really work because we're all carrying around those Swiss Army knives that we saw earlier. Ha, <laughs> ha, yeah. Then there's the crazy calculator, which costs more than a natural calculator, so no. Are your kids bored with the average coloring book? Look no further than the gangster rap coloring book. What? Psychology is cool, kids. See, we have Sigmund Freud action figures. You see, we all know what Freud would think of these action figures. Well, like, finally, I can take a dump and have that be emo, too, with black toilet paper. And finally, the yodeling pickle! Need I say anything about this product? Helena, I hope that you enjoyed these wonderful, weird WTH products. I will see you on Thursday.